Okay, let's talk about what makes stone sparkle on a simple level. Anything, the harder substance is, whether it's metal, uh, wood, stone, the harder that sub substance is, the brighter it shines. That's why when you sand wood, doesn't matter how much you sand it, you still have to oil it, and it's got the porosity and the, uh, that's gonna absorb the oil and cause it to look even shinier once you fill in that surface and get rid of all the little divots. But what makes a crystal shine bright is not just based on how hard it is. That's a good starting point, but there's many other factors. Things like if a stone is transparent, it's gonna get light going inside and refracting around it, just like diamonds do to uh, scatter the light and create the, the rainbow inside. And that gives the imitation of being brighter. There's different types of lusters, what we call the interaction of light on the, on the surface. Um, and they can be everything from vitreous to waxy, like opals have a waxy one, you've got the metallic ones. So the molecular structure has a lot to do with it, even just the way it grew, whether it has planes that grew in flat surfaces that are refracting the light as well. Uh, even just the angle that you're standing to it, and that's why I chose to stand here, is because when you look at these geodes, all these little facets create more of an imitation of sparkle when you walk around because of the direction the light is bouncing off and then reaching your eye. So there's a lot of things that can add to what makes a crystal look shinier. They don't all have to do with just how hard the crystal is or the uh, geometric form, mineralogy type form, crystallography, sorry. Uh, there's so many factors at play, but the main one to always start with is what is the hardness of that stone? And the harder ones usually shine bright.